Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on three-dimensional vectors. And today's lesson shall talk about intersection of lines in space. Now suppose two lines R1 and R2 whereby R1 is given by A1 tilde plus lambda 1 D1 tilde and R2 is given by A2 tilde plus lambda 2 D2 tilde. So in this case A1 tilde is the position vector of a point A1 on the line R1 and D1 tilde is the direction vector of the line R1. Similarly, A2 tilde is the position vector of a point A2 on the line R2 and D2 tilde is the direction vector of the line R2. Now, if, this, if these two lines intersect at point P, then they can be located on the x, y, z axis as shown below. Now, this is line R1 in the direction D1. And this is line R2 in the direction D2. I think I saw that this is A1, which is a point on the line R1. And this is A2, which is a point on the line R2. And this will be the angle between the two lines R1 and R2, while P it will be the point of intersection of the two lines. From the, from the above diagram, the angle between theta, which is between R1 and R2, can be got from dot product. Since we know these are direction vectors of direction vectors of these two lines, we shall dot the two. So it should be D1 dot D2. We'll be got magnitude of D1, magnitude of D2, and cos theta. So from there, you can easily get the angle between those two lines, R1 and R2. What does that mean? It means that when you're getting an angle between two lines, you dot the direction vectors. You dot the direction vector of R1, which is that, with the direction vector of R2, which is that. For the point of intersection P, it will be got by equating the two vectors, R, sorry, the two lines, R1 and R2. So R1 is given by this, it will be equated by R2, which is given by that. So in that case, you'll, be, you'll easily get the point of intersection P. Now with that knowledge of intersection of two lines, we shall come up with a solution to this problem. Part A, they want you to find the equation of the line through points A, which is 2, 2, 5, and B, which is 1, 2, 3. Then part B says that if the line in A above meets the line this which is x minus 1 over 1 equal to y minus 2 over 0 equal to z minus 1 over 3 at point p find roman 1 the coordinates of point p and roman 2 the angle between the two lines so shall start with part a these will be the two lines one passes through the point a and b so this is one line which passes through point A and B. This direction vector will be D1 and D1 will be got by AB which is equal to OB minus OA. So we shall, we shall first get the direction AB which is OB minus OA. OB is 1, one 2, 3 which is that. OB is 1, 2, 3 and OA is 2, 2, 5. So come and substitute 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 5. When you subtract the 2 come up with negative 1, 0, negative 2 as our direction vector for the line required. Now the vector equation for line AB will be given by OR where OR is any variable point on that line equal to OA plus lambda AB. So OA is that, AB is that. So this will be the vector equation of the line AB. For Roman 2 they told us that if this line intersects with this line at a point P Find the coordinates of P and the angle between the two lines. So the first thing to do is to change this one into vector form. So this, the vector equation of this line is this. Remember, for the, this Cartesian equation, the denominator denotes the direction vector. So direction vector will be 1, 0, 3, which is there, 1, 0, 3. And the position vector will be denoted by these new values of the numerator, 1, 2, 1 which is here 1, 2, 1. So these are now two equations 
which are going to intersect at point B. When they intersect, remember we said at the point of intersection, this will be equal to this. So we are, we are going to come and inter equate the two. So this will be equal to that. When you collect like terms, bring the ones with a scalar on one side and bring the ones without a scalar on the other side, which is that. So in this case, for comp using the I component, we shall get negative lambda minus mu equal to 1 minus 2, which gives us negative lambda minus mu equal to negative 1, because 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. Then for the second part, I think we can see that the constants, all the constants cancel. Lambda times 0 is 0, mu times 0 is 0. So we ignore that J component and we go to the Z or the K component. So the K component shall say negative 2 lambda minus 3 ram mu equal to 1 minus 5. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So you come up with negative 2 lambda minus 3 mu equal to negative 4. So these are two equations with two unknowns, meaning we can solve them simultaneously. We are going to eliminate lambda by multiplying this equation 1 by 2 and then subtracting the two equations. So when we apply through throughout this equation, I come up with this, then come and bring this one here. Now I'm going to subtract the two. So this minus this will give me 0, this minus this will give me mu, and this minus this will give us positive 2. Therefore, I manage to get my mu as 2. Therefore, I come in my equation which has mu, and it is this one. Then I substitute for mu. When I substitute for mu, I'm going to come up with this plus 2, that. And in the end, I'll come up with 3, 2, 7. Now, this 3, 2, 7 is the position vector of the point of intersection, which is point P. But remember, they wanted the coordinates. Therefore, you are going to write that the coordinates are 2, 3, 7. So that's how they express the coordinate of the point of intersection. Roman 2, they wanted the angle between the two lines. So let that angle be theta. Remember we said when you are getting the angle between two lines, you use the direction vectors of those lines. So in this case, D1 is the direction vector of the first line and D2 is the direction vector of the second line. So you come and dot the two. So D1 dot D2 is equal to magnitude of D1, magnitude of D2, multiplied by cos theta. So in this case, we shall come up with this. And when you make cos theta a subject, you get this. And theta will become 171.8699 degrees. So that will be the angle between the two given lines. Now we shall go to shortest distance between a point and a line. So consider a line AB drawn such that the foot of the perpendicular from a given point P meets the line AB at a point N as shown below. So this is the line AB and this is our point whereby its foot, the foot of perpendicular from this point meets that line AB at point N. So this is perpendicular. Therefore the angle between AP a line joining A to P will be theta, where A is any point on the line that is got from the vector equation of the line. In that case, the shortest distance PN will be given by AP cross AB, everything divided by, so after crossing you get the magnitude, and after that you divide by the magnitude of AB, where AB is the direction vector of the point of a given line. So in other words, in short, if point the distance of point P from the line R equal to OA plus lambda D will be given by AP. I think consider that A is a point on that line and D is the direction vector of that line. So it will be AP cross D magnitude, everything divided by magnitude of the direction vector. So that is the formula for getting the shortest distance between a point and a line. Now with that knowledge, I'll go through the solution to this problem. They want us to find the shortest distance of a point P, which is 163, from the line R, which is equal to 11k, sorry, 111, plus beta, negative 112. 
So in that case, for this line, this will denote the point on that line and this will be the direction vector of that line. So this point 111 is this along the line AB and this one is the point away from the line which is 163. So they want us to get the dist shortest distance of this point from this line. And that shortest distance will be distance PN as previously discussed. Therefore, in that case, we have to first get AP, which will be equal to OP minus OA, given by that, and we will get 0, 5, 2. After that, we have to cross AP with the direction vector D. So, cross 0, 5, 2 with negative 1, 1, 2. You will come up with this vector. How do you come up with that? First of all, for I, it means you ignore, you eliminate this column of I and write this other one, which is 5, 1, 2, 2. For J, negative J, you eliminate the column of J and write the remaining ones, which is 0, negative 1, and 2, 2, which is here. For K, you eliminate the column of K and write the remaining ones, which is 0, negative 1, and 5, 1. Then from this step, we have to get the magnitude of this, which will be major diagonal minus minor diagonal. So it will be 5 times 2 to give you 10, minus 1 times 2 to give you 2. Then minus j, for this will be 0 times 2 to give you 0, minus negative 1 times 2 to give you negative 2. So 1, 0 minus negative 2 is the same as 0 plus 2. For this one to be 0 times 1 to give you 0, minus negative 1 times 5 to give you negative 5. So 0 minus negative 5 is the same as 0 plus 5. Now from there, 10 minus 2 will give you 8. 2 is that 0 plus 2 is 2 and 0 plus 5 is 5. So this will now be the vector of AP cross AD. But remember they want us to get this magnitude. So magnitude will be this square to give you this, this square to give you this, this square to give you that. And then we shall come up with square root of 93. Then you also have to get the, the magnitude of the direction vector which is square root of 6. After that we shall substitute in the formula that shortest distance is equal to AP cross A cross D, magnitude everything divided by magnitude of D. So AP cross A D, sorry, AP cross D, magnitude is root 93, and magnitude of D is six, root 6. When we use a calculator and simplify, we shall come up with 3.937 units. So that will be the shortest distance of the point P from the given line. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, ROA e-learning platform. Thank you.